morning. It is day four of the Listen to Your Heart in Parenting Challenge. If you do not know who I am, if you are just finding my videos for the first time, I'm Tanya Milano. I am a parent coach, certified pure joy. I'm also a, um, a trained teacher and yoga instructor for kids. So I am here doing this challenge. It lives in my Facebook group right here. Reacted to relax self-care without the guilt. Right now we're live. There's prizes for participation. There's lots of activities. There's a free workbook. All of this stuff is in the description of this video if you wanna join in. It will always be there. So if you're watching this after the challenge, all of the challenge material will be in the guide section of this Facebook community. So jump on in. Today, I'm going to go a little bit more into emotions. Um, and the reason why I chose to name my group Reactive to Relaxed Self-Care Without the Guilt uh, has a lot to do with emotional regulation. And a lot of the materials in my group are there for support, for your support with big emotions. And so you can self-regulate and show up really present with your children and provide the strategies and tools that your children need to develop healthy emotional intelligence as well. So it, get in my group if you're not in there. And also on my YouTube channel, all these videos go there. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure to go over to YouTube Tanya Milano, Parent Coach, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and then you'll get notified when I do add new videos because I add new videos all the time and you can watch them over there. Okay, so let's get started on emotions. So emotions. <laughs> In this, uh, there are so many emotions that as children, we did not have a chance to really get to know. And that is because our caregivers may have not been okay with certain emotions. They didn't handle them. They were disowned those emotions in themselves. And you learn to repress certain emotions. This happened for everybody. So give yourself a little bit of self-compassion that you decided as a child really get smart. You were so smart to protect yourself by repressing certain emotions. Okay. So let's just start with that. Um, in the daily challenge, I share an emotion wheel. You can go search for emotion wheels on Google. There's tons of images. We know the basic ones right away, right? Anger, pride, um, sadness, disgust. Uh, joy, you know, the main ones. And when you look at a, a emotion wheel, there are so many more under those categories that we really don't get to know the intricacies of. Um, so it's really, really powerful work to start to get to know these emotions in yourself so that when your kids bring you the emotions, you understand them and you don't shame or guilt your children for having them right? That's not what we want to be doing as parents. Um, I want to talk about my family a bit um, and specifically talk about anger, okay? So of course, when we think about parenting, we think anger is bad, right? Anger has been labeled as bad, possibly, maybe not in your family, but in my family, anger was looked at as a bad thing. And it wasn't healthy. It, there was no healthy expressions of anger. Okay, so my parents would, you know, bottle stuff up and then explode like a volcano, right? Anger, anger volcano. There's an image out there on, um, if you Google anger volcano or anger iceberg, you know, it gets bottled up and then there's explosions. And not, there was no rational thinking going on with my parents. There was a lot of blowing up, um, yelling, things like that. So I decided as a child that anger was a bad thing and that I wasn't going to be an angry person. 
So I held a lot of things in. I was looked at as the quiet one, um, the, uh, I had it all together. I was a perfectionist, a high achiever. I was called shy because I kept all that in. I, I wanted to be, um, I'm just noticing this light is off. Okay. Um, yeah, so I made myself really small. And I decided I wasn't going to be angry and I wasn't going to feel anger. Well, <laughs> you can imagine what happens when you have children and they quickly show you some anger. And so they become the location of your anger. And I was like, whoa, 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 I don't know what to do with this, right? Like it was a sense of panic when I would meet my younger kids with when they were in these full-blown tantrums and things like that. So when we really start to get curious about our anger, and I did this early on in my marriage when I started to have anger arising, and it scared me, like, to the point of, like, I would get, like, you know, yelling, screaming at Tanner, um, slamming doors, right? Uh, it felt unsafe, like I could not control it. And so it became an out of control sense of anger because I did not understand my anger. Um, this also happened, I remember certain times in my life where anger came out because I repressed it so much. Another one was in like about eighth grade with my sister, huge anger with her huge amounts like to the point of like i want to strangle you i would um we would get in these really blow up arguments like one time she threw something and hit the window in our house like the big picture window and cracked the first pane Woo! that was really rough another and then another time i was jumping on her on the couch so so much anger coming out not knowing what to do it um so i remember these instances in my life because they meant i you know they stood out as a huge trigger so i wanted to share a, a quote before about anger from Eckhart Tolle. Where there is anger, there is always pain underneath. So powerful. Okay. Your anger leads you to your pain. Okay. So ignoring your anger is not going to, to move you forward in your life, not going to move you forward in your parenting. And and sitting with your kid's anger and having them process that anger, oh, it is so powerful. And I know it is so, so difficult. This is why I do the work I do. I support parents in this. If you are having a hard time being with your anger or being with your children's anger, <clears throat> and you are getting reactive, and then what happens next? You beat yourself up so much for this behavior and you shame yourself, you guilt yourself and it just continues. So in my coaching, we not only work through how to get to know your emotions, your internal landscape, we also work on self-compassion. How do you build more capacity to love those parts of yourself it is so important if we want to raise kids that also can love all the parts of themselves. Okay, so if you are doing the um, challenge, make sure to uh, comment on all the days. There's a checklist and I will pick a prize winner um, uh, tomorrow or Saturday. Also in the description of the video, I have a self-love yoga class that you can register for. And before I get off of here, of course, my, I've mentioned my coaching, but my signature program, Ohm in the Home Revolution, it is 
all of the stuff that I've been through in the 10 years of my parenting, learning how to be a conscious parent, gentle parent, attachment parenting, um, all of the positive discipline strategies that I learned as a teacher, it's all in one program. But not only that, I have parenting paused course included and you get the yoga app as well. So right now I am taking founding members at like 90% off. This is worth over $3,000 this program, but I really want to get people joining in there at 90% off and you get yoga app, uh, reclaim your body, transform your mind. This is the, the course that I bring people through that is setting up, going from overwhelm to get you back on track to take to self-care as a mom because you lose it. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you are not a mom, you don't get it. You, you make the goal to take care of yourself, to not lose yourself, and it happens because young kids take all of your time and attention. So that course is all about, it's like five weeks to get you back on some self-care journey, routines, and things like that. That's included in Omen the Home. And if you're joining before April, I have Parenting Pause course starting in April. It's an eight-week course. That's included in Omen the Home Revolution as well. Each of these things you can buy separately, but if you join the program, it's all included. So message me, founding member, before this price goes up, I want to get more people in as founding members at $333. And it's worth over $3,000, all of this stuff. So I do have payment plans if you want to talk about that. Message me and we will see if it's the right fit for you. And we'll go from there. All right. I will see you tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. for day five of the challenge. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.